and Brett Levers jams it in by Frederick Shabbat, and the Grizzlies go on to win it by a score of 5-3. to three. But we talked about the big guy, Graham Townsend, and this guy has been on a tremendous role for Houston. Graham Townsend has just been spectacular. If anyone has benefited from Coach Dave Tippett this year, it's been Graham Townsend. He's taken this power forward to a new dimension for the Arrows. Instead of being known as a tough guy, now he's putting up points on the board. Well, Dave Tippett and the Arrows hoping for a very nice night out on the town. When we return, Troy Gamble and I have the Gamble game plan. We'll be right back after this. Houston Arrows Hockey on KNWS is sponsored by Southwest Airlines. With low fares on every seat, every flight, every day. And by Columbia Healthcare. Healthcare has never worked like this before. And by your local Texas Chrysler Plymouth Dodge Jeep and Eagle dealers. Test drive one today. And by Whataburger, the homegrown Texas taste since 1950. Welcome back to the Delta Center, Salt Lake City, Utah. Moments away from the opening face-off between the Utah Grizzlies and the Houston Arrows, and it takes us to our gamble game plan. Troy, the Arrows looking for some key guys to step to the plate. Well, first off, the big guys must step up tonight. Guys like Guy LaRose, guys like Bill Bowler, and especially Mark Lamb. And if anyone takes losing heart, it's Mark Lamb. And, and now it's even more because he's a player assistant coach, and he's taking these losses very hard. These guys are going to step up. The other one, Dobson's debut tonight, and Rob Dobson, I'm sure, is going to have an excellent game tonight. He's looked excellent all week. And uh, last year when the Arrows struggled at the start of the season, who got that first win? Rob Dobson with a 41 save performance. That's excellent. And last but not least, contain Vasiliev and Fisher. They are thorns in the Arrow sides. They must contain them tonight. All right, the Arrows and the Grizzlies, when we return, opening face-off. We'll be right back. Whataburger, what a meal on a power play. Great teamwork with Whataburger, French fries, and soft drink. What's this? Add a Houston Arrows two-for-one ticket coupon to the package. Unbelievable! This Whataburger, what a meal Arrows deal is top shelf with a star. This offer is your chance to score. Stop by. Welcome to the Delta Center. Adam Gordon, Troy Gamble from the Salt Lake City, Utah. The Arrows getting ready to take on the Utah Grizzlies and starting a goal tonight for Houston. It'll be Rob Dobson making his first start this year. Last year, 9-13-2, 3.79 goals against average. Also was IHL goaltender of the week, and it was early in the year. It was that big win against Indianapolis that got the Arrows going. Against Mark MacArthur, though, and MacArthur spent most of last season backing up Tommy Sallow, but Butch Goring made it quite clear he has been a tremendous goaltender, and they're looking forward to him having a big game tonight. Dave Tippett on the bench, still looking for his first win as a coach this year. 17, 20, and 6. And on the other side, Butch Goring, who had, I thought, an interesting quote about last night's game. He felt his team didn't play with a lot of emotion in the first two periods. He said, and I quote, that was not a finished product out there. Well, exactly. And Butch Goring, if anyone can get anything out of a, a hockey team, it is Butch Goring. He's one of the top coaches in the IHL. All right, we're underway, and the Grizzlies, who defend the goal to our left, dump the puck into the Arrows zone. Arrows go back, looking for a good start like they had last night. It took them four minutes to get on the board, and they look to try and do it once again here. Glad to have you with us on KNWS, and also on KKHT 106.9 FM. Puck out at center ice for the Arrows, and Krupke will slide it ahead. Shoot Chuck tied up along the boards, and now Hurlbut will give it a try. Pass is intercepted by Rod Miller. Miller sat out last night's game with a suspension. And he is back in the lineup tonight. Shoe chunk at center for Houston. Gives it to Krumpke. That's knocked down by Mark Rogers. Mark Rogers, a pass ahead for Vasiliev, and here they come. Vasiliev makes the move, lost an edge. Loose puck, Hurlbut, who had a stick tied up, trying to get it out of harm's way. Krumpke is there to smack it off the boards. It's back out at center. Just underway from Salt Lake City in a scoreless game as the puck is shot in. And offsides the call. The Arrows are off to a good start again tonight, and there's a good shot of Rob Dobson, who tonight I think is going to have a spectacular game. And the one thing about Rob Dobson is that he's got all brand new equipment this year. Brand new gloves, brand new pads, and they're a model called Coho, and they look great on him. Also brand new number, 32. He wore 31 last year. Well, yeah, he wanted to switch it up a little bit after last year, and I think that's a very good move. Yeah. What was it with last year's goalie switching everything up? You got stuck up here. 
<laughs> that was a big switch. Big. Face off. Controlled by Sheva Turkin. Vladimir Sheva Turkin. And he shoots it down the ice. Icing indicated as Brian Straub will go back. And play is whistled down. They'll face it back off to Mark MacArthur. Brian Straub, one of the new acquisitions on the defense. And Dave Tippett hoping that this guy will be a tremendous impact on the power play. Well, Brian Straub will be a, an impact player on the power play. He's one of those guys that it looks like you should do more against him when you play against him. But it's so tough to get around him. And he might look awkward out there sometimes. He always gets the job done. Plays usually that unit with Lamb. Steve Jenks out for his first shift. He sat out last night's game uh, for a suspension. He'll get a go tonight. Puck along the boards. Jake's pinching. Uh, tying up along the boards. Jake's trying to muscle free Yo in there as well. But it's scooped away by Vladimir Sheba Turkin and rolled over to Gord Denis. He's bumped by Al May, and now Chris Marinucci. He's pushed along the board, and Leavers clear to the line out at center ice. Leavers not credited with the game-winning goal, but the back-breaking goal, if you will. It would be Jan Kaminsky who scored the fourth goal, which is considered the game-winning goal as the puck brought in offsides, and a play whistled down. As there's one of the new guys, Rob Valasevic, and uh, he's a guy that uh, slowly has earned himself more and more ice time. Well, Rob came to camp as a free agent, and he's just been awesome for Dave Tippett. And in the uh, arrows the one thing he, he went to lake state lake superior college up up north of michigan won two championships you cannot have enough of these championship guys his brother plays in louisiana that's where he played last year in the east coast league face off out at center here's a look at lamb with townsend and larose last night they put bill bowler on with larose but dave tippett looking for a little stronger effort from bill bowler tonight he's going to mix up the lines a little bit and try and get bowler with a little better combination lamb he'll come out with a puck mark lamb He'll carry to center. Mark Lamb to the right side. Orzhov tipped it away, and that is offsides once again. So kind of a, a whistle-filled start. And that gives us a second to talk about the officials tonight. Our referee is Brad Davis. And the linesmen tonight are Steve Metcalf and Jim Tedesco. Let's look at Jimmy Tedesco. The, the one thing that must be concerning for Dave Tippett is the arrows have led in every game this year. And, and that is a, a concern for Dave Tippett. And he's wondering why we, we get the first goal. Why can't we continue it? He made it quite clear. We seem to find ways to shoot ourselves in the foot. Hopefully, the holster will not be carrying the gun. It'll be carrying a couple of goals and maybe a win. Bouncing back into the Utah zone for Mark Lamb. Lamb watched by Kaminsky, trying to get it in there. Townsend picked it free. Townsend looks in front, worked it back. Krupke, long shot deflected. Save, score! Guy LaRose after MacArthur. Got a piece of it. Arrows push it in there, and again, they take a 1-0 lead with 2-13 gone in the first. All around great play from Graham Townsend to get it back to Gord Krupke to get it down on the net. Gord Krupke just shot it on the net. Guy LaRose was Johnny on the spot, put it in. It, it was actually deflected. Here it goes back to the point to Gord Krupke, who's going to just get it on the net. And look who's right there. Guy LaRose, right spot at the right time. He set up the first goal last night. This time he gets the first goal. And this is something Dave Tippett's been stressing. Get the puck on the net. Now we get a look at Bill Bowler. He's out there with shoot Chuck and Freer as the Grizzlies are offsides. And this is a key point right here. And, and we touched upon it a little bit last night in the broadcast that after a goal, the Arrows need to come back with an even stronger shift. They found themselves giving up goals right away against San Antonio. And now that Guy LaRose has given his team the 1 nothing lead, hopefully they can hold on to it and build on it. Well, certainly they, they want to build on it. This is a big shift right now with Bill Bowler. Off the faceoff, Rob Settler. He'll jam it into the arrow end, and Dobson knocked it down. Jakes behind the cage, harassed by Vasiliev, and shoots up the clear to Bowler. Bowler launched it ahead for Freer, trying to advance the puck. It's cleared, and the Grizzlies take over. Mark Rogers in across the line. Rogers cutting in, centered. Here's Vasiliev. Couldn't get a backhander away. Vasiliev crashed to the board by Jakes. Ah, the puck behind the net. Vasiliev give it to Claude LaPointe. LaPointe centered, and then the net becomes dislodged as Vasiliev and Jakes get into it. Now Jakes sticks high. Rogers gets in there with Jakes, and the Lionsmen get in there to break it up. Last night, the game was very, very clean game. Bill Bowler, who Dave Tippett is expecting a little more from Bill Bowler. And today, he had a little talk with Bill Bowler. And I walked back uh, with Bill at the hotel, and you know, he's gonna have a game tonight. He has his game face on very early tonight. He'll keep the face off in the arrow end. And Butch Goring, boy, this guy hasn't won much in his career, has he? Spectacular, I tell you, unbelievable. And Butch Goring, I had Butch Goring as a coach 10 years ago in junior. He was not that good of a coach. 
He really wasn't, but he's developed into being the best coach. Well, we touched upon how he's adapted with the different teams. Last year was a team he felt that he didn't have a lot of offense. He'd have to win by defense. This year, he thinks it's offense. He had a great quote. He said, this is not a good scoring team. I have to coach with what team I have. Good point. I also like the other, well, I won't get into it. I was gonna use another quote, and I thought, well, Troy, better not. one nothing. Arrows lead it just underway. First period from the Delta Center. Glad to have you with us. You're on KNWS and on KKHT, 106.9 FM. Puck out in center ice. Marinucci pass over to Robert Woodward. Get across the line. Split up with a check along the boards by LaRose. He's got the arrow goal, Guy LaRose does. Here's Levers trying to shake off a check. Ran in to Hurl, but here's a shot went just wide. Woodward chased it down into the corner. LaRose popped him there. Now the puck scoots to the near side, and Mike Hurlbun is there. Hurlbun over to Mark Lamb. Moved to center for Guy LaRose, and now it is Townsend across the line. Townsend centered for Lamb. Lamb sends to Townsend, shoots, and he whistled a wrist shot. Just wide of the net. Brian Stroth getting set. Rolled it in behind the net, but it was intercepted by Marinucci. And the former Kobe Baker Award winner, there's it on at neutral ice. one nothing Houston. Three and a half gone in the first. Krupke smacks it into the Utah zone. Townsend in after it, but Sheva Turkin is there for the Grizzlies. It's rolled along the board. Fighting for it is Krupke. Loose puck jumped on by Utah, and here comes Kaminsky. His pass to Vladimir Orjan, that's offsides in play, is whistled down. Let's take time out. Four minutes gone in the first period. one nothing Arrows back after this. Arrows won Utah nothing in the first. And pitcher of Al May there, they had a little ring ceremony for him last night. Yeah, won the Turner Cup last year. And Butch Goring presented it to him, gave him a quick handshake. says, now, get back on your bench. Leave me alone. He was a wonderful part of that team, tough, gritty competitor, and that's what the Arrows are counting on from him this year. Huck is in the Houston zone, lobbed into the corner. Straub trying to advance it, uses the glove, which is perfectly legal in your own end, and he'll send it over to Gordon Krupke, but he can't clear. It's knocked down by Kaminsky. He turns with Orzhov, but it's shipped away. Alan May got over there. Orzhov near boards, rolled it to Craig Fisher. He's a handful. Fisher cutting back, makes the move, looks for the pass, launched it to the circle, and Al May is there. And May will turn in his own end, crank it along the boards, hard pass came over, and it was cleared to center ice by Yo. Nice play there. Very good play, just to get it out of the zone. That's all Mike Yo wanted. Now Ron Aldoff. He'll turn it around for Utah, and a ice they come. Jan Kaminsky through the neutral zone, pass intercepted, but Aldoff got it back. Aldoff shoots the puck into the arrow end. Loose for Fisher, trying to barrel down that right side, but a hard check from Sphere Sears. Rogers goes into play it for Fisher. Walks right out in front, he centered it, but the arrows were able to clear it. The arrows kind of miscommunicated a little bit on defense, and it nearly cost him. Well, it almost did. It was just a sharp play just to get it out of the zone. Now we have a whistle. Fans, the speed, the hits, it's all hockey. Whether you need to entertain clients, reward employees, or just want a few nights out with friends and family, the Houston Arrows have season ticket packages for you. Enjoy discounts on Arrows merchandise and skating at Aerodromes. Call 627-AERO right now. Operators are on duty. 627-AERO, Houston Arrows hockey sports, the way it ought to be. Very good start for the Arrows here tonight. Team defense is very sharp tonight. They're playing from the inside out. They're forcing the Grizzlies from the inside out. And that's what Dave Tippett wants. He wants to give, you have to give shots, give them from the outside. Face off to the right of Thompson. Bowler wins the draw. And the Arrows did a tremendous job, I thought, last night in the face offs. A lot better than uh, the first two games against San Antonio. Pearl, but in his own end for Houston, clangs it out at center. Grizzlies trying to turn it around. It's Mark Rogers, the hero in game four of the Turner Cup Finals. Slides to Vasiliev. He cuts to the slot, shoots. That's blocked by Bowler. And Dobson, thinking he's more like Air Jordan, lunging high in the air to grab it. He'll hold on. And one thing I know about that play, he did not learn that from you, Troy Gamble. Uh, no, he did not learn that from me. It was almost like he was trying to slam dunk a basketball, how high he got up there. And, and, that, and that's tough. We're going to watch it here. Good play by the Grizzlies to gain the zone. They back up Steve Jakes. Gets a shot and it goes high up in the air. Watch Rob Dobson jump up. And I'm going to tell you folks at home is that that is with approximately 30 pounds of goalie equipment. Yeah, well, and, and that's without the new Air Dobson skates that are due out after this game. All right, Miller off the face off. Shot went just wide. Picked up by LaRose, turns to the corner. He's tipped by Rogers, shakes off the check. LaRose bangs it along the boards. And in behind the net, it's Steve Jakes. 
Jakes, his pass to Lamb, and the Arrows have a three on two if they hustle. Lamb dumped the puck in the rose, gives chase out of the net. MacArthur fires it along the boards. Jakes moving down the right side, but Rogers takes it away. He'll lo uh, lob it ahead, and here come the Grizzlies. Arrows got caught up by Three on one. Grizzlies right in, and a terrific defensive play by Hurl, but lunging over there to close down the passing lane. The Arrows didn't get back in their four check. They didn't have their usual two guys back. They had a guy up, but they did happen to have one. It was Mike Hurl, but he made a great play. Now Vasiliev behind the net, worked on by Jakes. It's Vasiliev trying to shake off the check. Vasiliev, nice move, cuts in, center, and there's Dobson to make the save. He'll hold on. Oh, Andre Vasiliev. I don't know what it takes to corral him outside of super glue Velcro and a steel ball, and even then he was able to get in there, but Dobson holds on. What a great play by Mike Hurl, but to break up that three-on-one, and then he had to deal with Vasiliev down low. Look how shifty this, this guy is. It's unbelievable. He just dances out there on, on his feet. And the scary part about it is we have to buy extra videotape just to carry, carry all his replays because they tank forever. He holds the puck for so long. Well, he is a highlight film on his own. Yeah. Now off the face off, Marinucci rolled it back to Rod Aldoff. Long shot glove save made by Dobson. Saw it the whole way with six and a half gone in the first period. Arrows lead it by a score of one nothing. There we see that team defense. It, the Arrows lost the draw, but it was an easy shot from the point. Rob Dobson saw it all the way and makes an easy glove save. And, and that's what Dave Tippett, if you lose the draw, you have to do something to get back the puck. And there, they just picked up their men. Grizzlies win the draw, but they can't find the handle on it. It sails back into their own end. Aldon fires it over to Jeff Sharples. He was met by Shuchuk. Krupke with it, lost it. And it's picked up by Shuchuk and shot into the Utah zone. MacArthur turns it around to Rod Aldon. Grizzlies bring it out to center, knocked away by Freer, and Bowler trying to find the handle. But the Grizzlies turn it around. Here comes Robert Nordberg. He's dumped by Krupke, crowd wanting a penalty. No, Krupke went right to the body there. Now picked up by Houston. Freer across the line, gives to Bowler, trying to cut in around Marinucci. Bowler jammed it in behind the net, but Marinucci intercepts, and it's picked up by Nordberg and brought out at center. Ran into his own man, Levers, and the Arrows turn it around. Back at their own blue line, it's Krupke. Give it to Shuchuk, ran into Nordberg, and the Grizzlies get it back. Arrows on top by a score of one to nothing. Sharples will advance the puck. Cross ice pass for Vladimir Orzhov, but that is turned around, and now Fisher gives it a try. He lost it, Straub lost it, now the Utah Grizzlies have it. Kaminsky tied up by Valosevic, and the Arrows turn it around, Krupke, he'll roll to Yo and move it up and out of the zone. Very smart play by Rob Velasquez. Strong on his feet. Now a penalty coming up to Alan May as he bulldog Vladimir Orzhov, and we will sort this out when we return. One nothing. Arrows lead at 12:18 to go in the first. We'll be back to the Delta Center after this. Arrows lead at one to nothing. Alan May in the box for roughing. Well, he just took a little run there, and roughing was the call. Get a good look here. As you would say, Adam, he bulldogged them into the boards. Vladimir Orzhov in his grasp and fired him to the boards, and now the arrow shorthanded for the first time tonight. They did a terrific job killing all the power plays last night that the Grizzlies had. Buck is shot over the glass and play whistled down once again. As they, they've got the shots here, and they are saying the shots are, well, now they finally put a shot up on uh, for the arrows, but they say the shots are only 2 1. Well, how can they say that? I mean, but they've got one, and Pete Deneen. I'll tell you, he has had his uh, hands full here trying to get things stabilized with this hockey player. Exactly, and tonight he has only five defense tonight, so he's actually got to work on the bench because he's got to rotate only five. Off the faceoff, Arrows have it, trying to clear off this penalty, and it's shot down the ice. Out of that, Mark MacArthur, and he'll roll it along the boards. It's up and out at center ice and back into Houston Arrow territory. Icing is going to be called on Utah as Mike Hurlbut goes back. 138 left in the main penalty. 11.56 to go in the first period, 1-0 Houston. Mike Hurlbut has been Dave Tippett's best defenseman so far in this early season. He came to camp in terrific shape, and he's really played well. And the one thing that he's done well is that when he's on the power play, he gets the puck on the net. Yeah, and shooting it more. Shooting it more, shooting it with high velocity. Face off in the Utah zone to the right side of Mark MacArthur. As Lamb will go in. Uh, against Jan Kaminsky, a couple of number sevens going at it. Sticks down, dropping the puck. Lamb had won it, but it came right to Vasiliev. And the Grizzlies take over. Gord Denis. He'll move it up ice 
Denine, the pass carved out the center for Kaminsky. Hits the line. Polk checked away. That'll teeter the blue line, but chased down by Zettler. Zettler got it to Vasily, and he's got Kaminsky all alone in front. He centered it, but a bit of a hand grenade had a little too much loft on that. Now Vasily to Kaminsky. He's out there with Fisher, Denine, Zettler, and now the puck worked up by Zettler. Zettler moving down the left side. Has Vasily in front, rolled it behind the cage, chased down by Kaminsky. Arrows have a minute left to kill on the power play. As it's blasted up and out of the zone. Puck is out at center ice. And here is Gord Deneen. He'll roll the puck to Zettler as he's watched by Shuchuk. From the neutral zone come the Grizzlies. Here is Jan Kaminsky across the line. Dropped it back for Fisher with 45 to go on the power play. Vasiliev near side. Andre Vasiliev tipped it back to Gord Deneen. Launched it back to Vasiliev as the Grizzlies work the perimeter. But the arrows come up with it. Here's Hurlbutt, and he'll shoot it down the ice. Excellent job by the arrows to jump on all the loose pucks. The one thing that they're doing tonight is when they do get it, they get it all the way down the ice to make the Grizzlies come 200 feet. 22 seconds left in the Al May penalty. Here's a puck out at center. And it's shot in, but blocked by Valasenic, who fell. And they're going to blow that down on offside. So the arrows get a little bit of a break after Valasenic stepped on the puck. 15 seconds left to Al May. Ten and a half to go in the first. Arrows on top, one nothing. The arrows have played very well. And Valasevic, who came from the Louisiana Ice Skaters, who the Arrows now have a little affiliation in the East Coast Hockey League. So, Arrow fans, you might see a few more Gators up here with the Arrows. The other guy, Eric Cluche, who had some time with the Louisiana Ice Skaters last season. Ron Aldoff on the power of play, starts it at center, shot at the Sharples, it's in Arrow territory. Fired ahead, and the Arrows bust out with it shorthanded. Freer. He'll bring it across the line. Why shoots? That's deflected by Sharples, and that will do it really for the power plays. There's just one second left to Alan May's penalty. 10-19 to go in the first. Arrows on top, one nothing. They had the presentation to Al May of his ring, and I saw a picture of the ring. The rings had to go back to uh, get a little more work done on them. They look terrific, and they're actually made in Houston by the Diamond Cutter International. There are the two Turner Cup banners. 1-1 one, one in Denver, and that's the one on the left that you see if you're watching on KNWS, and yes, we know, they kept the cup. They don't let you forget that. No, they kept the cup, and the rings have two cups on them to symbolize both rings, both wins. So what is that for Butch now, six? Four, four Stanley Cup and two Turner Cup? I, I don't know. I don't have enough fingers or toes. Oh, he's going to run out. Penalty's over now to Alan May, and the arrow's back at even strength. Here is Townsend shoots the puck in. It'll go out of the net for MacArthur, but instead Zettler plays it, and Vasilia moves it ahead with Rogers and Claude Lapointe. Brock Rinkwide pass got by Freer. Oh, but he reached back and played it away from the point. Headsy play there by Mark Freer, and the puck is loose at neutral ice. Zettler. Four checked by Graham Townsend. We talked about at the top of the telecast how he's been such a power forward, just going up and down his wing. Here's the point the other way with a shot right on, and Dobson makes the save. And I guess if you're looking for something good, the, the scoring chances at far, as far as this point to Rob Dobson, none really. I mean, there's a, a scoring chance, if you will, but not of the quality that we've seen to Freddie Shabbat in the first three games. Exactly. And here, the one thing you're going to notice is Rob Dobson on the top of his goal crease. He's out, he's challenging. That shot's not going to score on Rob tonight. Right on the top of the goal crease and in great position to make the save. Rob Dobson, very motivated. He's got a different look about him this year. I mean, he's still the same carefree, easy-going guy. And, you know, I thought it was maybe one of the big signings you talked about, not only because he's going to have to spell Freddie Shabbat for 10, 15 games, but I can't think of anybody better in the locker room. Exactly. He's great in the locker room. The one thing I've noticed about Rob this year, his work ethic is second to none on the arrows. Face off in the circle to the right side of Rob Dobson. I don't know what they're waiting for. Butch, Butch Goring yelling at Brad Davis, but Frederick Shabbat who's backing up tonight, and this is good for him. Let him sit back and just, you know, not have to worry about it. And plus, there's another game tomorrow against yep. the Las Vegas Thunder. And we talked about it. It'd be a tough decision if, if the Arrows win. You know, what do you do tomorrow? Dave Tippett would love to have that decision. Yep. Here's Brian Straub out at center. He'll jump, jump on it and move it into the Utah zone. Mark Lamb reversed it behind the cage. Shoot Chuck rolled it ahead for Lamb. Now center, Jakes winding, shooting. MacArthur saving, but there was Kaminsky, and he was able to get it out of there. Picked up by Sheba Turkin for Utah. Gives to Deneen. Bumps it along the boards. It's up and out at center ice for Vladimir Orzhak. Kept it ahead. Kaminsky's in with Fisher. Right in on goal. Two on one. Shoots. And he missed the net. Or did Thompson get a glove on that? 
I'm not so sure Dobson didn't get a glove on, but Kaminsky rifling that puck, trying to go upper left corner on Rob Dobson. And Kaminsky got canned and just missed the net. Well, I, I'm pretty sure that Kaminsky took that shot and it went off the crossbar and he snaps it high glove. Right off the crossbar and out of here. And Rob Dobson again though was in good position. If that was gonna be a goal, that was gonna be a heck of a shot. All right, well. Wow. Well, he did have Dobson. But that, that's a lot of credit to Dobson being in the right position, making him say, hey, if you're going to beat me, beat me. Exactly. He was on top of the crease again, Adam. All right, Arrow's back now, and they'll move the puck around. Here is Hurlbutt. They're cranking off the boards. And it's up and out at center ice. Shot back. Hurlbutt trying to advance it in across the line. Hurlbutt winding, shooting. I know, but there for the save. Here's a chance for Valasevic. Valasevic. Gives to Alan May. Watched by Orjog. Turn to the corner. Came to Valasevic. He bumps in there with Kaminsky. Kaminsky will move it ahead. And here come the Grizzlies to center. Orjog overskated in the Arrows regroup. 8.34 to go in the first. 1 0. Arrows lead it. Yo, across the line. Snapshot. MacArthur left hand save. Puck center. Kaminsky will move that away. And now Fisher creamed along the boards. And it's loose at center for Gord Deneen. Deneen rolled it ahead. But that's blocked by Sears. And the Grizzlies will regroup. Deneen to his line. Fired one ahead, and Fisher, he might be in alone if Sears didn't get over there, but Sears got there at the nick of time. And then Weaver's crushed from behind by Krupke, and a penalty coming up to Krupke, and we'll sort it out when we return. 1-0, Arrows lead at 8.08 to go in the first back after this. Back inside the Delta Center, Crisby cheering on the fans. 1-0, the Arrows lead it. But now they're going to be shorthanded for the second time tonight as Gord Krupke in the box for elbowing. Which was, as we were saying off camera here, is that it was a little questionable of a call. But it looked like Leavers turned a little bit. It, exactly, and here we get a good look at it. They go in both hard. Uh, yeah. well, maybe, good call. That's, that's, yeah. good. that's a close call, but that's a good call. So, a good call by referee Brad Davis. And the arrow shorthanded for the second time tonight. And again, that goes back to what we said last night, the discipline. Advantage of the replay right there, Adam. Now Ron Aldoff out at center, gives it to Nordberg and across the line. Nordberg cuts right in on goal. He got around, stop, shoots, and Dobson with a nice save as Robert Nordberg walked right around Brian Straub and went in on Rob Dobson, and Dobson makes a nice save. What a great save by Rob Dobson. He laid out his stick to force the shot, and we're going to get a good look here. He gets around Straub, and instead of Dauber, lays out the stick and forces him to shoot and he's down in that crouch position. Watch the stick here. The stick is gonna get out. Ooh, could, could not go anywhere. Rob Dobson in good position and cradles that puck. Face off left of Dobson. Leavers in the face off circle against Lamb and Leavers wins it back. Snap it to Aldoff. Now to Marinucci, worked it back to line. Aldoff getting set on the power play for Sharples. Maybe one of the top defensemen in the IHL as far as power plays go. I put him right up there with a Todd Richards of Orlando. Sharples, top of the slot, rolls to Nordberg, right back Sharples, tees it up, whoop, wanted to pull the trigger, no bullet in the gun, and now try it again. Nordberg, back to Sharples, he'll let it go, shot went wide, and may have grazed the outside of the net. A minute 15 to go in the Utah power play. Nordberg shot it back to the line, but it was cleared and back into the Utah zone. Utah's going to try a quick turn up right here. Yep, minute eight to go in the power play. Here come the Grizzlies out at center ice, brought in Sharples, pass, Levers, cutting right in, Levers. Trying to find an angle to get the shot away. Leavers bumped along the boards. Picked up by Nordberg. Cuts it down. Marinucci dropped it back. Here's the shot. Right on. Dobson. Save. Rebound. Dobson with the save. And he will hold on as Nordberg was in there. And Dobson will hold on. 6.58 to go in the first. Arrows lead at 1-0. 50 seconds left in the Krupke penalty. It all started with a, a very good shot from Jeff Sharples. The shot gets through. Jeff Sharples just takes that snapshot that you were talking about, Adam, a rebound, and Rob Dobson in good position again, but Jeff Sharples has one of the hardest wrist shots. There's another look in the IHL. Yeah, with Jeff Sharples, they needed to keep him because they got maybe they got rid of one of the hardest shots in, in Jason Herter, who signed with Kansas City this year. And, and you need that shot. You need that fear of that guy that has that shot from the point. Arrows, Mike Hurlbutt, Grizzlies, Jeff Sharples. Face off, right side of Dobson. Top of the puck, Grizzlies win the draw. Back to the line for Gord Deneen. Turn center, here's the shot. Dobson is there as Jan Kaminsky steered it on goal. And Dobson looks very alert here in the early going with under seven minutes to play in the opening period. 1-0 Houston. Well, Dobber's very fresh and 
He was very excited about the game today. I talked to him just before and he was joking, he was having fun. And you're gonna see some intense eyes here of Rob Dobson, some of the most intense eyes in the IHL. Face off left side of Rob Dobson. And it's cranked along the boards by Hurl, but and it's back down the ice. MacArthur slows with just over half a minute remaining in the Grizzly power play, their second power play of the night. Gord Denis, pass out at center for Zettler. Launched it into Arrow territory. Back is there, Sears. Cranked it to the corner. Kaminsky is in there. Picked up by Guy LaRose and rolled the lab. It's back out at center ice. 15 seconds left in the power play. Here come the Grizzlies. Fisher overskated it. Lamb tried to bring it up. And it is controlled by Utah right at center circle for Vasilia. Across the line with Fisher. Vasilia dropped it back. Kaminsky wheeling down the right side. Looks in front. Centered. Oh, well, he had the man on the door as it was Zettler. Now the arrows turn it around. Three on one. If they hustle, Krupke with LaRose. Krupke right in. Center. LaRose stopped by MacArthur. Sliding over at the last moment as Krupke centered one. It might have gone off Denis. MacArthur had to be alert, otherwise LaRose was there to get another chance to jump on a loose puck and score. What a great attempt by Gord Krupke to try to feed LaRose, and Gord Deneen sliding, almost put it in his own net. And this is the quick turn-up play. Gord Krupke gets right out of the box, and a two-on-one ensues. You're going to watch the pass, Gord Krupke trying to feed it. Very alert, Mark McCarthy, very alert. I, I'm sure MacArthur had LaRose in the corner of his eye and he was thinking about it a little bit. Back to action off the faceoff as it's Jeff Sharples. And they'll set a power play over. As we mentioned, as Krupke came out of the box and teams at even strength. Here come the Grizzlies out at center of the point. Across the line with Chris Winnis. Dropped it back. Rogers snapshot went wide of the net. Carries near side. Winnis played with the Fort Wayne Comets for a spell last season. Now Jakes. He'll move to center ice. Jakes rolled it into the Utah zone. Out of the net, MacArthur slides it to Sharples. The Grizzlies bring it up. Claude the point. Hands it over to Rogers. Rogers across the line. Dropped it for the point. Sends it back. Rogers was in there. It went behind him, though, and the arrows turn it around. Shuchuk moves it ahead. It was in the skates, and Bowler goes back to regroup. Bill Bowler gives to Mark Freer. Freer will bring it across the Utah blue line. Freer lost it, and it's cleared back at center ice. Five minutes to go in the first, and a 1-0 arrow lead. Winnis down the right side, tied up by Straub, and a penalty. They're going to call on Brian Straub here, a delayed call, and the arrows need to touch that puck. Leavers in the corner, and finally it's controlled by the arrows, and an interference call coming up when we return. The arrows with a 1-0 lead. one nothing. the arrows lead it, but it's Gordon Krupke in the box, not Brian Straub. Yeah, we're going to see the penalty right here. Gordon Krupke in front of the net. Oh, okay. Takes down the Grizzly, and that will get you two minutes anytime. Interference, Krupke back in the box. And again, the arrow, arrows playing with a little bit of fire right now. This is the third power play, and Dave Tippett wanting to you know, be concerned about the discipline factor. They didn't have the problem last night, but three first period penalties. Here's Nordberg, cuts it down, intercepted Hurl, but Lamb turns along the boards. It's cleared out at center, and every time you're shorthanded, it makes it so tough for you trying to get back into the mode of offense. Well, when you're back in the mode of offense, but also it gets those guys so tired, especially at this altitude. Yeah, don't forget, we're nearly a mile up. We're not as high as we were in Denver, but we're pretty high up. Arrows pick up a loose puck. Valasevic shoots it down the ice. Valasevic's getting a lot of ice time tonight. Talking to Dave Tippett, he really likes this kid. Played well so far. Now Marinucci out at center, fired it off the skates of Aldoff, and Sharples goes back. Allen made a four check on the play. Came out to center, and Leavers sends it for Marinucci. It's into arrow territory. Hurlbutt hustles back, and then he lost an edge, but he touched it in time, and that is an icing call on the Utah Grizzlies, who, quite frankly, also, they've struggled a bit on the power play, but once they get it in and established, they've moved it around okay. That's exactly, once they gain the arrow zone, they are so tough down deep, especially with their shifty little guys. And Butch Goring had a conversation with them today 
said, Butchie, I know you like fast cars, but at least maybe get them washed. He has his Corvette out in the parking lot. It's a convertible. Another beautiful day in Salt Lake City. Oh. This car was just terrible. It was so <laughs> dirty. I said, Butchie, you might want to get that washed one of these days. And when Butch, uh, when Butch going played in the NHL, he had a Lamborghini. Did he ever wash it? Here come the arrow shorthand and a shot whistle just wide of the net by Brian Straub. And Zettler will turn it around. Zettler moves it up and out at center of the pass for the point. Polk checked nicely and the arrows shoot it down. Under a minute to go in the power play. And that's what you said again. The arrows are getting it down when there is a turnover by the Grizzlies on their power play. Grizzlies have it in their own end. Zettler. Pass for the point. He's met at the blue line, but here's Rogers smacked it in behind the arrow cage, and now it's Vasilia. Takes a hit from LaRose. Arrow's turn can they clear it. Now they'll roll it ahead. It came to the line. Right back down the ice. All the way down the ice. And that's what you want to do when you're on the penalty kill is get it all the way down. Make it come 200 feet. Now Vasilia at center. Brings it ahead. He ran into some traffic. Now tries it again. Traffic not a factor for Vasilia, I guess. Now gives it to Valasevic as Jake's got cut with a high stick here from Andre Vasilia. Brad Davis, I don't think he was going to make the call, and now he's going to on Vasiliev as he got the stick up on Steve Jakes, and the Arrows will get a crack on the power play in 17 seconds. And in the IHL this year, what they're doing with the high sticks is that if it's not intentional, they're getting four minutes, even if they do draw blood, and the referee thinks it's intentional, and he does draw blood, it, it's a game misconduct, then five minute penalty. He gets the stick up here on Steve Jakes. And that's one of those those plays where Vasiliev needs to have control of his stick. He cannot bring the stick up high without control. And if you do that, you're going to get two minutes. So the Arrows in 17 seconds will get 143 of a power play after Krupke comes out of the box. And Butch Goring, maybe a, a wee bit concerned, but he's such the great coach. I, I don't think in you know, the first period he's going to be that concerned. Exactly. It takes a lot more than one period to get Butch Goring rattled. He has opened a lot of eyes just in what he's done in two years with the Grizzly organization in Denver and now in Utah. And, and I think that's why he was rewarded with a five-year contract. Yeah, five-year contract with a window of opportunity if the NHL comes calling. Now the arrows are on the power play. Freer sends one back. It bounces to Hurlbut. Steers it down for Bowler. Bill Bowler, left side. Bowler sets up. Base in left circle. 133 on the power play. Back center knocked away. It came back to the line for Jakes. Rolled it over to Hurlbut. Getting set. Winding. Shooting. Deflected just wide of the net. Picked up by Jake, pounds it down along the boards, too far for Townsend. Hurlbut's got a pinch, can he get there? No, Marinucci cleared it, but the arrows are back. Jake's, his pass for Hurlbut, couldn't find a handle. And the arrows, I think, uh, have to go back in after. 1-11 to go in the power play, as the Grizzlies have it. They'll bring it shorthanded, LaPointe with Rogers across the line. They cross it up, centered, and a nice defensive play by Jake's to get there. Steve Jake's, quick pass to Bowler, and up ice comes Bowler. Bowler at center for Brian Straub across the line. Dropped it for Townsend. Townsend fell, but it came to Bowler. Dropped it back. Lamb for Bowler. Townsend shoots. Just missed to the top corner. Lamb hooked it behind the cage. Zettler trying to golf it out of there. Straub will pinch. Can he get there? Yes. Arrows have it. Freer. Center. Here is Lamb. Winding shooting. Had a puck on edge. But tough break for Lamb. Does a puck miss the net? Now Freer in the corner for Bowler. Bounced it back to Straub. Oh, he buried it. No, they say he didn't hold it in. And they're going to say an intentional offside. Oh, boy, a tough break for Brian Straub in the Houston Arrows. It just jumped over his stick there at the last moment. This is another one of those rules. If you intentionally put it in, they take it down all the way to the error zone. And here's that shot by Graham Townsend. What a bullet. Just high over the glove side of Mark McCarthy. Graham Townsend getting those shots off again. Dave Tippett must be pleased with that. And pleased with a 1-0 lead on Guy LaRose's second of the year. And LaRose is out there right now with Lamb and Valasevic and Shuchuk. Hurlbutt. And a face-off to the left of Rob Dobson. Kaminsky against Shuchuk. As they wait for Shuchuk to get set with Jan Kaminsky. And they're not going to let him as they're going to throw him out of the circle. Jan Kaminsky, what a goal he had last night. He gave the Grizzlies a 4-2 lead heading into the second intermission. Face off control by Houston, 22 to go on the power play. And it's controlled by Hurlbut. Pass right side. Shoot Chuck. It's quickly cleared out at center ice. 
Lamb retreats to his own blue line. And he'll move it up ice. Lamb, the cross ice pass, picked up by Hurlbutt. He'll slice it into Utah territory, but they say the arrows are offside with five seconds remaining, actually six seconds remaining, in the Andre Vasily of high sticking penalty. Dave Tippett was instructing the arrows today that when they do get the puck down deep on the power play, they want to get point shots to start with. Then after they establish that point shot, then work it down low to Bill Bullard, Gila Rose, and guys like that. Then they can work it down low, because that play will open up after you get those good long shots from the point men. Face off at center with six seconds left to Vasiliev. Lamb to take the face off as Hurlbutt and Krupke occupy the points. And now who starts early? Lamb starts early, and I guess that means Gila Rose to take the face off against Kaminsky. Top of the puck and the arrows win it. Krupke. Hurlbutt rather. Shoots it in. Sharples is there. He's tied up by Townsend. Puck sliced away. And here come the Utah Grizzlies. Vasilia rolled it across for Kaminsky, trying to get in across the line. He's pushed off the puck. Hurlbutt in there, tied up by Kaminsky. Now Vladimir Orzhov looks in front, shakes off a check, shoots, and he let a backhander go just wide. Jan Kaminsky. Ace of the circle, cuts one in there, give it to Orjan. Orjan, right side, sends one in, that's blocked by Krupke, and the arrows are able to clear it. Graham Townsend, work done by Orjan, he's hauled down, no call, play moves on, and the Grizzlies have it, it's back to center ice. Fisher, trying to find Orjan, he's worked on by Townsend, now Orjan is taken down by Townsend, crowd wanting a penalty. So Vladimir Orjan and Graham Townsend in a little bit of a battle right now. 16 seconds to go in the period. Arrows with a 1-0 lead. Yo, left side, trying to roll it ahead. It goes into Utah territory. And back is Deneen, and the Grizzlies move it around, and it's back up and out at center and into the arrow end, and that should do it for the first period. Straub is back, and the horn sound ending period number one. So the Arrows getting a goal from Gila Rose and Rob Dobson, a terrific period, and Dave Tippett very pleased about what he has seen. Dave Tippett has to be very pleased. The, the Arrows played very solid in their own zone. Their defensive zone coverage was top-notch, and Rob Dobson was there when the defensive zone coverage was not there and made some quality saves. All right, well, the Arrows and the Grizzlies leaving the ice, and we'll take time out and be back with more. Our score after 20 minutes of action from the Delta Center. It's the Houston Arrows 1 and the Utah Grizzlies no score. A 1-0 arrow lead after 20 minutes of play. Adam Gordon, Troy Gamble back in the Delta Center. And, uh, you know, the Arrows uh, came in with their own game plan. Well, so did we. We came in with a Gamble game plan of what the Arrows had to do, and it looked like for that first period they followed it. Well, it was pretty successful, the Gamble game plan. And it all started off with the big guys showing up. Mark Lamb, Guy LaRose played very well that period, plus Bill Bullard. Dobson's debut has been successful so far, Adam. He's played very well that period and contained Vasiliev and Fisher. We really didn't notice him that much except Vasiliev on the one play. I was gonna mention Andre Vasiliev, you always have to, you can't help but notice Andre Vasiliev and uh, even though he didn't get a goal in that period, uh, he did create some problems and, I mean, if you're Dave Tippett, how, what do you tell your guys for a guy like that? Well, you, you tell those guys, you, you give all the defensemen rope, and you say, hey, if he gets near you, just lasso him. That's the only way you can stop him. He is so tough down low. Well, and, and now you've got the second period, and this has been kind of the uh, Armageddon for the Arrows this year. They've got to come in, and, and this is maybe a critical period for them. It, it is a critical period because they've led in every game this year, and now they're leading again. They have to hold this lead, and this will be a key, the second period. And it doesn't get any easier tomorrow night from the summit, the Arrows and the Las Vegas Thunder from the summit at 7 o'clock. That will be a radio-only game as well as on, I shouldn't say radio only, it's also on Prime Sports. We invite you to join us for that at 7 o'clock. Our score after 20 minutes of action from the Delta Center, the Arrows won, and the Grizzlies, no score. We'll be back after this. Welcome back to the Delta Center. First period intermission between the Utah Grizzlies and the Houston Arrows. And my guest this period is Dave Tippett. And Dave, what do the Arrows need to do to get off this 0-2-1 start? Well, Troy, you know, I think there's different parts of our game that have kind of let us down. Uh, you know, the first couple of games, we took a lot of bad penalties and got ourselves into trouble. Last night, we stayed out of the penalty box, saw some good things, but some mistakes hurt us. So, you know, all the little parts of the game have to come together. We have to have the strong goaltending. Our special teams have to be good. 
as well as the discipline and hard work. Speaking of the goaltending, uh, you've made a change tonight. Rob Dobson is going to start. Yeah, Rob, uh, you know, with three and three nights here, we had uh, Freddie's gone the first three games, so uh, I'm going to throw Rob in there. Last time in here last year, he had a heck of a game, so uh, we're hoping he's going to come up and give us a real big game tonight. And, and you talk about the, the discipline, and, and it was in the first game, and there was a lot of positive uh, in the first game out here in Utah. What tonight can we keep on going with? Well, like I say, the special teams were pretty good last night. Uh, you know, Utah has a very skilled hockey team, so you can't be in the penalty box. Uh, but we want to play a little harder tonight. We want to uh, take the body a lot more, eliminate some of their skill, and, uh, and hopefully use it to our advantage by crashing the net, creating some more opportunities for ourselves. The one player that has stood out this year in the early season has been Graham Townsend, and, and he's just been a solid force for the Arrows. Yeah, that, that just typifies what I just said there. You know, like Graham is working very hard every night, every shift. He goes to the net hard, and, uh, and he's being rewarded with goals. And uh, that's the kind of effort that we want to see from everybody. And, you know, Graham's a dedicated guy that, uh, that uh, has been, you know, that way for three years for the Arrows, and it's great to see him get off to a great start. Yeah, with Graham Townsend getting off to a great start, one other player that I, I think has stood out is, is Mark Freer. Yeah, Freer has come in this year, and he's added a little bit of weight. Uh, he's playing a lot stronger. He seems a lot more determined this year. Uh, you know, and he's got off to a great start, too. He's, uh, he's using his speed still, but he's, uh, he seems like he's stronger on the puck around the net, and uh, we're looking for big things from him this year. Thanks a lot, Dave. Thanks, Troy. We'll be right back after these messages. The Arrows leading the Utah Grizzlies after 20 minutes of play from the Delta Center by a score of one to nothing. Welcome back, Adam Gordon, Troy Gamble. And, you know, one of the guys I thought got off to a little bit of a slow start in the San Antonio series was Guy LaRose, but the last couple of games he's made his presence felt. Well, Dave Tippett wanted Guy LaRose to be a little more involved, and tonight we're seeing that Guy LaRose is, is more involved and gets that first goal. And that takes us to the Hilo highlights brought to you. Hilo Auto Supply, what you need is... in that first period. When we return, we'll take a look at the second period and the arrows gotta have it, keep it going, see if they can when we return. One nothing arrows right after this. A one nothing lead as we're just about ready to start the second period of action. And uh, don't forget to join John Granato weeknights on Sports Night Live at 9 and 11.30 as he gets behind the scenes of your favorite sports. That's Sports Night Live with John Granato weeknights at 9 and 11.30 on Houston's own KNWS. Arrows returning to the ice and, you know, Rob Dobson, he wasn't tested too much. He had a couple of uh, close tests, but as well as Dobson's played, I think a lot of credit also goes to the guys in front of him. Well, the guys in front played very well in front of Rob Dobson. The one thing I'm noticing about Rob Dobson is I believe he's been watching Freddie Shabbat a little bit. He's getting down in that low crouch, and he's eating all the pucks in his midsection, a la Frederick Shabbat. And that happens when you have a goaltender partner like Frederick Shabbat. You tend to watch him, and you can pick up little pointers. We talked about this guy, Rob Balasevic. He's earning more and more ice time. I mean, not just five-on-five five ice time, power play penalty kill. He's playing all ice time tonight, and he's been a very good player for the Arrows, and he's one of those guys that they want to step up, and he is stepping up. And 
Rob Belisevic from two championship rings. That doesn't hurt either, Adam, when you can add winners to your organization. Another guy that uh, has really played well is Mike Pearl, but you mentioned the fact that he has been the best defenseman, but I think, A, with that hard shot, not only is he utilizing it on net, but he's utilizing it more. Exactly. Last year, Mike Hurl, but did not shoot the puck enough. This year, Dave Tippett, Pete Deneen have told him, if you get that puck at the blue line, blast it on the net, you have a great shot, use it. Mark MacArthur, now, here's a guy that not many people know about. I played very well last year, but it's kind of tough when you're in the limelight to a guy, what's his name, Tommy, Tommy, Tom, Sallow, something like that, oh, by the way. Well, if Mark MacArthur keeps this up, They'll be saying that, uh, Tommy, Tommy who? Because Mark MacArthur has just been spectacular early in the season. Yeah, I thought he was uh, a little, did make some great saves in the first and second period, but made some terrific ones in the third to preserve the win last night. Exactly, and he preserved the win for the Grizzlies. The, the Arrows battled hard last night, but in the third period, they just found it tough going to get the puck past Mark MacArthur. And you know, for Butch Coring, he, he, it was kind of an interesting point. He thought, even though he was going to lose one Tommy in Sallow, he thought he was going to get another Tommy back from the Islanders after they waved Tommy Soderstrom. And I guess Tommy Soderstrom has decided that he does not want to come to Salt Lake City. And I don't think uh, Butch Going really wants a guy like that on your team anyways. He wants yeah. guys that want to come here, work, and help him hopefully win a third championship. Yeah, wasn't it him that said he wanted to find a good city to play in? I, did, I, I cannot understand that, yeah. that quote. Salt Lake City is one of the prettiest cities oh. in North America. Yeah, and the weather really stunk today. 88 degrees, beautiful day. Yeah, whatever. All right, we're back to action. Teams are at five aside to start this second period. Arrows with a 1 0 lead. Is in the arrow end. Dobson, who defends the goal to our left, rolled along the board, but Rogers knocked it down, turned with a quick shot, and Dobson, the glove save, and he will hold on. 17 seconds gone in this second period. Mike Hurlbutt is talking to Rob Dobson. There was a little lack of communication there. Mike Hurlbutt was behind the net. Rob Dobson got there. There was no communication. Rob Dobson shot it around the boards and had the shot come back at him. He said, hey, I better freeze this and have a talk with Mike Hurlbutt. And I'm sure that he's saying, well, let's just communicate a little better out here on the ice. Graham Townsend, who gets ready for this face-off. Not a goal yet tonight, but for some reason you just think maybe he's going to be around there when the time comes. He has another point, though, yep. tonight. Off the faceoff. Grizzlies have a long wrist shot and another love save. Jeff Sharples made by Do Rob Dobson. Houston has a very active youth hockey program, and the Houston Junior Arrows Hockey Association has programs for teams ranging from beginning to travel competitive. Boys and girls ages 4 to 17. 1996-97 season is just now underway, but it's not too late to sign up for a team. For more information, call 855-PUCK. That's 855-P-U-C-K. Face off to the left of Dobson. Now, Claude point getting ready to take the draw, but he'll be moved out of the circle. And hopefully, in a few years, the Arrows will have a homegrown player from Houston being developed in the minor hockey system. Yeah. How would that be for a... Houstonian to play for the Arrows. God. Another Colin Chin in the making. Here is Krupke. Fired one off skates. It took a weird hop. He threw it right off Grizzly skates. And now the Grizzlies turn the point. Centered. A bouncing puck that just missed Rogers. And it's scooped away by LaRose and down the ice. No icing as they say Zettler could have played it. Hustling back is Rod Miller. And he'll give to Zettler. Zettler moved it out at center and Claude the points is there. Gives it to Vasilia. Vasily have a cross line center one. It's in skate and Dobson using sonar, Doppler, GPS, and one other locating system he could have finds that puck and he covers up and holds on. Very alert by Rob to, to pounce on that puck. It was, it was in about five skates and right here you can see it's in all the skates. No one knows where it is except Rob Dobson who's very focused tonight. And, and some nights that happens. You just get so focused and Rob Zettler who played with Dave Tippett and Mark Lamb and the Philadelphia Flyers was Dave Tippett's roommate. Yeah, I'm sure they had a few stories to, to tell, eh? Now off the draw, the Arrows have it. Shoot Chuck Motors to center. It's back down into the Utah zone, and Leavers will turn. Leavers to Marinucci. That's popped away. Now the Grizzlies turn. Right side to Neat to Marinucci. That's knocked to center, and here come the Arrows. Shoot Chuck. 
But it's picked up by Utah, and now Levers at his own blue line. Well done by Jakes. Puck loose at center, and the Grizzlies will turn. And that is offsides, and play is whistled down. As you look at Bill Bowler, and a guy that Dave Tippett really counting on him after holding out, trying to get that NHL bid. And he had a pretty good first game against San Antonio, but uh, looking for a little stronger effort from what we saw last night. And his first period was much better tonight. Bill Bowler was more involved in the play. And we've said that word a lot tonight, more involved. That is what Dave Tippett wants from his arrows. He wants him to be more involved, more aggressive, without taking penalties. By the way, we should mention scratches tonight is the arrows with a few here. Al Conroy back at home. We want to wish him well with the severed thigh muscle. We hope he will be back in the lineup soon. He's about another four to five weeks away. And uh, Gord Donnelly suspended for a game and then the next two in San Antonio. So he's out tonight. And Miles O'Connor not feeling well. And he is back, I think, at the hotel. Hopefully he's feeling a little bit better. Black is in the Utah zone. Sheba Turkin trying to clear. Yo knocked it down. It came back behind the net, and Gord Deneen is there. Deneen behind the net, met by Valasevic. That scoop to the line. Jake's held it in. He's got Yo in front. Let's the shot go. MacArthur blocker save. Yo turns. Hit the post. And the rebound is knocked away. Are you kidding me? AT&T, the line is ringing, and it was the sound of the pipes. And there was MacArthur to hold on to it. Al May just missed a glorious opportunity. I believe he rang it off the post. What a, what a great play just to get it on the net. Steve Jakes shoots it from the point, directs it at Mark MacArthur, and there's Al May in front creating havoc again. I think Yo's the guy that hit this. And Mike Yo is the one, and Al May takes that extra swipe. Yo put it off the post. And it goes back to Steve Jakes. Steve Jakes just wants to get it on the net. It hits a bunch of people in front, and it ends up on Mike Yo's stick, you are correct, and he bats it right off the post. What a great look there. Now May said, oh, I want to take another whack at it also. Now off the face off, Sharples is there for Utah, but the puck turned around. Arrows trying to cut in their bowler, fighting for it, but Aldoff came away with it, and the Grizzlies scamper to center. Nordberg delivers across the line, and that's pushed away. Marinucci trying to push one ahead, and it's taken by the Arrows and Shuchuk. He'll move to center ice, give it to Freer, fired it into the Grizzly zone. It rests behind that first one there is Aldoff, given a rough ride by Shuchuk, but now Nordberg takes over. Here comes Marinucci to center. Across the arrow line, dropped it back. Evers is right in on goal, shoots, and Dobson got a piece of it. The puck just trickled wide of the net, just missed. And now it is Nordberg behind the net, run into by Mark Freer, and the arrows come away with it. Here they come at transition, shoot truck to center, give to Bowler, across the line. Bowler cutting in on goal, didn't find a man to pass to. Bowler sets up, right side center, and LaRose trying to take a poke at it. LaRose behind the net, shoot truck, sends it back. It's in front, but the Grizzlies come away with it, and they are out at center in force. Marinucci dumped the puck in, and Dobson will slow, and Lamb will play it. Mark Lamb out at center. Ula Rose had his head down for a second as Zettler wanted to tag him, but didn't get much but a shoulder on him. Scraped him off the play, though. Now Lamb in the Utah zone for Houston. Looped it behind the net for Zettler, though, and Zettler takes over for Utah, and here come the Grizzlies. Rogers, a pass knocked down by Hurlbutt, and it's back to center. Rob Settler. And it came out to the point. And it shot in, but that's knocked away. And Andre Vasiliev turns it center ice, and now Settler. The arrows with three people back again. They're playing very well defensively. LaPointe dumps the puck in. And it's tipped away, and we got a whistle. We got a penalty coming up. We'll sort it out when we return. Well, for a little more leverage, let's try the leverage right after this. A meeting of the minds to discuss where they're going to meet after the game and the hot tub. Where should we put them? The hot tub. Yes. I've never been in there before, have I? Adam, it was one of the greatest interviews I've ever seen in my life was you last year in the Turner Cup playoffs in the hot tub doing the interview. I had a lot of fun doing that. And who knows? Maybe this year we'll stick us in there. What do you think? Well, I'm going to have to get in the weight room and buff up a little bit then, Adam. <laughs> All right. I'll join you for that. I could use stand to lose a pound or eight or ten. That's some incentive. All right, Sharp pulls off the faceoff. Snipes the fourth power play. Shot right on Dobson. Bobbled it. It was kicked away. Now the 
Puck back to Sharples. Quick pass to Aldoff. Sends it back. Sharples getting set left point. Pulls the trigger right on Dobson. Save rebound. Vasiliev is right there. And Dobson will cover up. And he will hold on as Vasiliev crashing the net. But Rob Dobson is there with 15 seconds gone in the LaRose penalty. Four minutes gone in the second period. Arrows in at 1-0. Jeff Sharples with that great snapshot from the point. Starts the whole entire play. Dobson puts it to the side. And Vasiliev was right there. Dauber very... Look at that shot. You can see the whip in his blade. He shoots it so hard. And Vasiliev is right there. That looks like one of your DCIs that Neil Wilkins set you up. One of those flex shafts. Well, I, I had to go to the, the extra firm shaft with my swing. <laughs> Come on. Are you kidding me or what? Oh, brother. Your, your, your golf club should say Bauer on it. <laughs> Here's the puck controlled by Sharple. Now it's shot at center. Hauled off across the line, trying to cut in on the power play. Aldoff getting set, and he'll set up the power play. Nice play by Aldoff, just kind of ring around the, the rosy, I guess, or whatever you call it. He, he set that up. Now a minute 18 on the power play. Aldoff top of the slot, winding, shooting, puck deflected. It'll tear him off the board, and out at center. He was like in the ice capades there, he was skating so much. Well, now sometimes that's all you need to set up the power play. Look point through the neutral zone, across the line, trying to slide through a couple of arrow checks. Straub with him, stride for stride. Battle in the corner, it's in skates. Fished out by Straub, but Rogers is there. Rogers. Got it back to the line, now Sharples. The point turns it around with 45 to go in the power play, but Sharples couldn't hold it in. And the puck goes out of play. And that should bring a face off back to center with five minutes gone in the second period. Arrows with a 1-0 lead. Very good job by the penalty killers tonight by the Arrows. And Al May is going to get a chance out there now to play a little penalty kill himself. Now a face off out of center. Dave Tippett. He's made it clear that his specialty teams, not as much penalty killing as it is his power play. A lot of times you see teams with two lines for the power play, two set units. But he says, we really don't have a set unit. We go with a bunch of different options. And it's not as viable now without Conroy up before you get him back on the lineup. Especially at this altitude, it works out great. You can keep everyone fresh. Off the draw, the Grizzlies back in their own end. They've got half a minute to go in the man advantage. Puck came in, Marinucci. Marinucci cut it over Norberg, right in, shoots out to save, rebound! Center, the shot, terrific stop! by Hurlbutt, and Dobson covers up Hurlbutt. I'm not so sure Dobson knew where it was the first time. I know I didn't. And Mike Hurlbutt, a terrific save. A, a la Gord Donnelly sliding out there during the two-pad stack, and this is a dangerous play. Rob Dobson holding his ground. Rebound comes back out. And look at that save by Mike Hurlbutt. What a great two-pad stack in goalie terms. Did he learn that from you? Well, no, I don't think he learned. He must have been watching Dauber. And watch this play. Rob Dobson in solid position there. Standing up, no place to go. And then there's the save by Mike Hurl, but oh. wow, that is a game saver right there. Off the draw, Grizzlies have it. I thought that moved out at center. It did, and that'll bring a face off back down into the Grizzly end. Gord Denis was trying to sneak one there, Adam. It was out. And he's going to argue a little bit, but that puck was past the blue line. Tried to sneak one away and get it back in deep. Gord Danino makes his home in the summer up in the Adirondack area. His, bro his brother Pete lives also on the lake. And Peter, you know, he has uh, in his spare time an unbelievable windsurfer. Loves to windsurf. And he said today he has all the Danino brothers windsurfing. Yeah, yeah. He even let me try it. Can you imagine that? Ooh. Pete said he had never laughed so hard in his life watching me windsurf. Well, hey, I, I can imagine if I had a motorboat, I would have been staying clear of you. <laughs> no kidding. Now the puck is shot. It was funny. I was able to get downwind, but Pete says now, try and go back upwind. Not going to happen. Now the puck controlled. Lee was lost in the rose, chipped it ahead, and came out at center as the power play is over. Teams at five aside. Deneen, right wing boards. Sends it ahead. Marinucci across the line. Marinucci sends one back. Nordberg. That's chipped away. Lamb is in there. Can he get it out of there? No, but it's jumped on by Hurlbutt, and he'll meander out at center. Across the line, LaRose. LaRose trying to cut in. That was poked away by Settler. And the arrows turn it down. Arrows with just five shots on goal. They have yet to put one on unofficially here, they say. In the second period as the puck frozen along the boards and play halted. 13.39 to go in the second period. Arrows lead it on Guy LaRose's second of the year. Krupke and Townsend got getting the assists on that back in period number one. 
Well, as you may or may not remember, the Arrows revealing their mascot back opening night. And now you can be involved with naming the Houston Arrows mascot. All you have to do is check out your Houston Chronicle for more information on how you can enter into the Name the Mascot contest. Great prizes are at stake, so pick up a copy of the Houston Chronicle, and let's give that crazy canine a name. And no, we're not giving it the name you said last night. What was that dumb name? It was Bosco. Bosco. I, I grew up with boxers no. and they're called Bosco. Yeah, nice originality. Bosco 1, Bosco 2, Bosco. No, no. Come up with something better than that. Yeah, it doesn't work, does it? No. Vladimir Orzhov sent it a puck in the arrow zone, but it missed everybody. It's back out at center ice. Aldoff sends it to Sharple, and the Grizzlies bring it ahead. Fisher across the line. Fisher met by Krumpke. Fisher shook off the check, though. Fisher turning, shooting, Dobson saving, rebound in front, and Dobson picking up the loose puck again, and he will lunge on top of it, and he will hold on to it with his 11th save of the night. I was just going to say, before that play happened, we have not said Fisher that much in the telecast tonight. Then as soon as, look what happens, he gets away from Gord Krupke, walks out, Rob Dobson squares up, makes a very good save, and then has to be very alert on the rebound and just pounces on the puck. So a face-off to the right of that guy, Rob Dobson. And those are the new goalie gloves that he he's wearing this year. They're coho, and they are fabulous. They, I, I, put, them? Them, I put them on today, and they are fabulous. They, they're broken in perfectly. He, he's in love with them. Well, and so he should be at this point. Jake's in his own end off the face-off, and he'll move it up ice for the Arrows, who lead it one to nothing. And it's pushed down at center, but Miller reversed it. Yo took it away. Yo dumped the puck in. And MacArthur will slow it. And it's controlled by Utah. Rob Settler. And move it up through the neutral zone, missing Vladimir Orzhov. If he would have found him, it would have been a two-line pass, though. And the puck goes back into the Utah end. Settler dodging an Allen May check. Here's Frank Fisher, pushed by Valasevic. Arrows hold it in, Yo. Trying to move it down as Allen May getting tied up a little bit with Mark MacArthur. But Settler pushed it along the boards, and now a big hit as Valasevic to Orzhov to the boards. Puck is trickling toward the arrow end, and Fisher with a six foot three and long reach able to lunge it into arrow territory. Here's Jakes. He'll give it over to Straub, cranked it into the Utah zone. Puck along the boards, arrows trying to hold it lap. Couldn't have pulled away by Kaminsky. Stumbling to center, and the arrows have it. Curl, but back in his own end. 12-10 to go in the second. Arrows with a 1-0 lead as Straub cranked it in there. Pad save made by MacArthur. Grizzlies trying to clear it. It came up over the glass and into the arrow bench. Timeout on the ice. Arrows lead at 1-0. We'll be back to the Delta Center right after this. Arrows with a 1-0 lead with 12.05 to go in the second period. And right now the rivalry. Oh, what a rivalry it is. It's here and you can see every hit, every goal, every exciting play right here on KNWS and on KKHT. The Arrows are back in San Antonio to take on the Dragons on the 26th at 7.30. Again, right here on KNWS, Channel 51 and KKHT, 106.9 FM. Shots 15 to six in favor of the Grizzlies. And the Arrows though, Playing another strong period if they can keep it going. This is about the point last night that they ran into a little bit of trouble by the name of Andre Vasilia. And he's out there right now. Here's a puck that is centered, and MacArthur getting a stick on it. Into the corner, Townsend fights for it. Townsend cuts right in. Can't get a shot away. And Sheva Turkin rolled it out of harm's way, but LaRose turned it back down for Lamb. Lamb behind the net. Center, Townsend shoots. And that was blocked by Vladimir Sheva Turkin. He's unloaded on by LaRose. He LaRose can't find a handle. And Sheba Turkin cleared it out at center ice for Vasilia. His pass for Rogers. Right in on Cole. The point shoots. And that caught a skate of Slayer Sears. Arrows over skate. And now it is Guy LaRose reversed it along the boards. And it's jumped on by Houston. Sears was crushed into the boards. Any harder than Sears might have become J.C. Penny. Now the puck is picked up by the Arrows and right back out at center. And we've got a penalty coming up. An elbow minor. We'll see who it's on. It might be on LaRose. If not, it might be on Mark Rogers. I think it's on Mark Rogers. Mark Roz Rogers uh, got his elbows up a little high there. How? You know what Mark Rogers' favorite number is? 832, because that is the time he scored in overtime of game four to win the Turner Cup. And now, here's the hit. Well, we're going to see this here. That was LaPointe's hit. That was a good hit. That was the good Rogers hit was not yeah. a good hit. Had, had the elbow up just a little bit. They nailed him for elbowing. He's in the box. 
the waste management box. And it's kind of funny, last night I heard during the game, waste management box. I know it's bad to go in there, but it's even more of a stinker now. <laughs> Ace off out at center. Arrows with power play opportunity number two on the night. They're 0 for 1 on the mat advantage. Straub and Lamb on the points. Graham Townsend with Mark Freer and Bill Bowler. Your forwards. Here comes Bill Bowler. He'll lead the rush from left to right. Now Lamb gives to Freer. He cuts it. He's hauled down. And a two-man advantage coming up for the Arrows as Freer scoots by Zettler. And the Arrows now will have a two-man advantage for 141. And this is a key moment in the hockey game. What a great play by Mark Freer, just to keep his feet driving to the net, forcing the call, hooking. We're gonna get a good look here. First off, a great pass. Mark Freer moving his feet, moving his feet. Rob Settler grabs him at the waist and hauls him down. And that's a penalty anytime you can watch Settler. Gets him right around the waist, it's almost like you put a rope around him. So now the arrows who lead it one to nothing. And we'll get a crack on a two-man advantage. They will stay with Mark Freer. But now they'll bring out Shuchuk and Townsend with Lamb and Hurlbutt. I think you're going to see Graham Townsend park his 6'3", 225-pound body right in front of the net to cause traffic and interference. Well, Gord Deneen is out there for the Grizzlies giving directions to Jeff Sharples and Claude Lapointe. Brad Davis, the referee, says, OK, let's go. Face off right side of MacArthur. He's saying is that, hey, you guys practice this. You guys know what you're doing. You don't need to take this break. Five on three for a minute 41. If the arrows score before the 141, they would stay on the power play. Now off the face off. Arrows fighting for it in skates. Went to the corner. Freer is there. Freer battling in there with Gord Deneen. Now loosened up by Shuchuk. Arrows set up. Here's Hurlbut. He winds, fakes the shot. Now sets up the lamb. Arrows have some time. They can be somewhat patient here. Here's Shuchuk. One time shot. MacArthur was there to make the save. Shuchuk to Lamb. Sets up top of the slot. Now over to Hurlbut. One time shot. MacArthur save. Rebound. Freer was there, but he couldn't get it up. And it's on the back of the net. They fight for it. Hurlbut pinching in there. It's kicked away by the Grizzlies. Sharp was able to go down the ice. Very good shots by the Arrows. Those one timers off the side. Very good high percentage shots. Now it is Mark Lamb at center. Arrows have 57 to go on the two man advantage. Shuchuk across the line with Valasevic. Drops a pass for Lamb. Lamb getting set on the power play. Moves point for Hurlbut. Hurlbut to Lamb. Top of the slot. 45 on the two-man match. Hurlbut shoots. That just missed. That might have hit the post. Now Lamb again. Sets up on the power play. Lamb working in. Now to Shuchuk. He shoots. MacArthur was there. LaPointe smacked it along the boards. And now it is Guy Rose. Back to the line for Lamb. Sets up. Over to Hurlbut. Mike Hurlbut. Top of the slot. As the cannon instead goes to Shuchuk. Gary Shuchuk, right circle or left circle. Now to the right circle. Lamb cuts in, floats it to Shuchuk, can't pull the trigger. Hurlbut, his pass intercepted by Sharples. Arrows are moving the puck, but aren't getting into the good scoring lanes. Lamb, right side with 12 to go in the two-man advantage. Here's the puck jam for LaRose. It came back to the line. Hurlbut held it in at a right point. Hurlbut getting sent, rolled it over. Here is Shuchuk to the line. Lamb, two-man advantage is over. Lamb, wrist shot, deflected, hit the post. Rebound, and MacArthur is there. And then LaRose got in there. MacArthur, I will return. What a shot by Mark Lamb just to get it on the net. He took that good blow wrist shot. Next thing you know, it's going off the post. How many have they hit tonight? I, I, I would say that we've had Five posts tonight. The goalies are going to be giving them big wet kisses pretty soon. <laughs> I don't know. Watch this shot by Mark Lamb. It's a good wrist shot on the net, off the post. And oh, Balasevic was on the spot. Look at Gila Rose trying to dig for that loose puck. That's yeah. what started the little melee. And, and he was right. The puck was there. The yeah, puck, you could see Brad Davis lost view. sight of it, I think. We're gonna get another look here, and it's the good shot. It goes off the post, and Balasevic is right there, goes underneath MacArthur, and the puck is available. You can see between the legs there of Guy LaRose, and that was not a bad play by him at all to be in there trying to bring it out. Mark MacArthur's been very sharp. Face off left to MacArthur as the crowd getting set, trying to cheer on their troops. 12 left in the power play package. Straw lets the shot go. Miller knocked Al May down. Al May kicked it back to the line, and the Grizzlies have killed off a two-man advantage for 141. And now a 
whistle and an offsides call. They're going to bring the faceoff back down into the arrow zone. Very good job by the Grizzlies on the five on three. They were giving up the one time shot, but they were clearing the front of the net. It was so tough to get rebounds. Rogers is going to go take a break now. He came over from Vegas last year. Very good player, hard nosed player. I believe he was at NHL camp and then was sent down in Kaminsky. Oh, you talk about shots. Can he shoot that puck off the wing? Just missed in the first period, but had a terrific goal last night. Face off left of Rob Dobson as Kaminsky prepares to take the draw against Bill Bowler. Bowler wins the draw, snapped it back to Jakes. It came to Yo. Back to the line, Rod Miller held it in. Here's a shot deflected, I think that hit escape. Fisher tried to redirect it. You've got to keep an eye on the Grizzlies now. Always watch the team that kills off a two-man advantage. It gives them such a lift. Well, it just gives them so much momentum, and that's what we saw there. They win the draw, and they get the good shot on Rob Dobson. Now Bowler tries to dig the puck out of Utah territory along the boards. Jake shoveled it down for Yo. Mike Yo. Over to Alme. Behind that center, Bowler right in. But he had a roll off his stick. Now it is Yo again, getting set, base of the circle. Yo for Bowler, cuts it back. Here is Yo, over to Bowler, who's knocked down right off the puck. Zettler trying to clear. Loose puck, and Zettler will try it again. 8-10 to go in the second. one nothing. Arrows lead it. Rod Miller to Jakes, had it intercepted. Now Alan May wanted to get a shot away, had his stick partially lifted. And it's Fisher that clears it out at center. Orzhov in a foot race with Straub. Straub got there. In a battle with Vladimir Orzhov, it came to Fisher, waiting on goal, wrap around, and Dobson was there. The puck is tied up along the boards. Well, Rob Dobson got there nicely. Now it is Lamb, who will turn in the corner and feather a pass, not out go. Held in by Aldoff. Second effort, held in by Aldoff. Third effort is cleared, and the Arrows were able to move it up ice, but rejected by the Grizzlies. The pace has really picked up in the last two minutes. Even more so after the two-man advantage was killed off by Utah. It is definitely picked up. Townsend looped into the corner. He's tied up by LaRose. Hope back to the line, and Marinucci will scamper to center. Here comes Weavers across the line. Weavers right in on goal. He's hauled down by Kupke. Weavers wanting a penalty. Crown wanting a penalty. Butch Corey definitely wanting a penalty, but won't get it. Puck came out at center, and the Grizzlies regroup. Sharp was forechecked by Townsend. Here is Marinucci through the neutral zone. Hits the line. Marinucci trying to get in there. Kupke took it away. We'll smack it off the glass, and it's back to center ice. Sharples will go to play. Sharples. Four check by Greer. Flushed out by Shuchuk. Nearly. Oh, that was a near dangerous play. Really dangerous play. That's, that's a play made by a confident player. Here's a shot whistled wide by LaPointe. It came to Vasiliev. Keep your eye on him. Vasiliev to the corner. Looped it back down. Vasiliev. He's in there. We've got a penalty coming up. Another penalty. It's going to be, I believe, to Eric Kluche for knocking the point down. We've got a whistle. We'll sort everything down up when we return. 6.30 to go in the second period. Arrows with a 1 0 lead. We'll be right back. <laughs> to the sounds of La Macarena, a song that just doesn't want to die, the score is 1 0. And don't forget to join. Houston's best coverage of high school football on High School Football 51, Saturdays at 11 p.m. and Sundays at 11.30 a.m. on Houston's own KNWS. So that's coming up right after tonight's hockey game. I believe the reason that song does not want to die is the mascots love it. Oh, I just, it's one of those songs that I just wish would just fade away. Off the faceoff, Grizzlies have it. Sharples long shot, made it to Dobson. And that save is tougher than maybe it first looks, as not only did he have Rogers cut cutting in front of him, I'm not so sure Jakes was in front of him as well. There was lots of traffic in front of Rob Dobson. Both power plays are using the same philosophy. Get the puck on the net, and they're all using good wrist shots. And Jeff Sharples, who has a great wrist shot, gets it here, and he just blasts it through all the traffic. Rob Dobson on top of his crease. Catches it with that big new glove of his. Face off right side of Thompson. Puck is picked up by Jakes. Now rolled over. Far side, Aldoff. Jams it into the corner. Vasiliev is behind the net. Vasiliev trying to move on. He digs it out. Watch him. It came back to the line. Here's Aldoff. Makes the shot. Now Sharples cuts in on the power play. Shot right on Dobson. Save. Vasiliev trying to center it. It went off the skate to the point. And Freer jumps on the loose puck. And he'll roll it down the ice. MacArthur comes out of the net. And he'll slide it along the boards, and Rod Aldoff is there. And the arrows make another quick change. They're going to try to quick change tonight on the penalty killer. Yeah, Dave Tippett 
Definitely want to keep it a short shift. And now here's a shot. <sighs> that went off the guard. I'm not so sure he's hearing church bells from the Tabernacle Choir right off the head there. Ah, the puck goes to the far side. LaPointe jammed to the wall. Straub centered. Straub, did he center that? Straub had that puck, and I don't know if that was deflected or off a grizzly stick. And Mark MacArthur, he's hurt, Adam. That, that was a hard slap shot in the forehead. Watch this shot. You want to be a goalie, kids? No, you don't want to be a goalie. That, yeah. that hurts. Hey, I, and I'll tell you what. We got to talk to Trey Wilkins right now. Neil Wilkins, little kid. We want to say hi to him. This kid wants to be a goalie. No. No. Have you seen him be a defenseman? Yes. You know, you talked about Houston-born guy. Kid's, what, 9, 10 years old? No, he's like 8 or 9. And he wants to be a goalie, like Mark MacArthur. Are you kidding me? Oh, I know. And he's a great little player. So we're going to have to get some video of that shot and send it because uh, Mark MacArthur, maybe we'll have Mark give him a call. So you want to be a goalie? Take a look at that. Off the draw. Grizzlies have it. Here is Zettler, still on the power play, which has a minute remaining. Kluche is in the box serving it. Now the puck picked up by Fisher. Scooped it to Kaminsky. He had Vladimir Orzhov in front, but instead goes to Zettler. Blinds fakes the shot, jammed it to the corner for Orzhov. In there was Straub trying to get it out of there, but Fisher dug, dug it out. It came out along the side of the net for Orzhov. Vladimir Orzhov trying to cut in there for the Grizzlies. It's a loose puck that hit the post. Unbelievable. I feel like I'm at a horse race. We've had so much post time tonight. <laughs> now the puck picked up by Zettler. To Denis. Kicked ahead. Fisher lost it. It's back down at center. It's back to the near side. Orzhog is there. And then Orzhog was creamed from behind by, I believe, Gord Kupke along the near boards. And that'll halt play as he's a little slow to get up. Orzhog with the, the long hair. You cannot miss him out on the ice, Adam. He has those long flowing locks. That's that check thing. It must be. Long hair. Well, oh, this is a tough hit. You watch this hit. Oh, that, that, that almost, could have been a penalty. That, that that's almost two minutes there. At least. Wow, Krepke really gave him the two-hander there. But not, two good things happen. One is Krepke gets away with that yeah. hit. But number two, it sends a message. It you sends know? a great message. And I don't think you're going to see him around the boards that much uh, tonight. <laughs> or at least with Krupke's in the neighborhood. Officer Krupke patrolling the streets. Clock is picked up by the Grizzlies. A shot right on, and Thompson, the stick save. Bowler back, couldn't clear as Sharples held it in, and Thompson, another glove save, and he will clear it out. And, and one thing I think Thompson brings a little bit better than uh, Frederick Shabbat is stick handling. And now, here's Levers cutting right in. He's alone, and Thompson poked it. The puck is loose. It came back to Alda. Thompson saved the day there as Levers was in alone. How good was Thompson with the stick in the last 15 seconds? Puck is picked up by Jakes, and he will move it up and out at center ice. Jakes, right side, creams it into the Grizzly zone. Sharples will roll it over to Aldo. He misplayed the puck, and Utah will bang it to the line, not out. Freer shakes off the check. Freer, long shot right on MacArthur's save, and they poke away at it, and MacArthur will hold on and play. His whistle down. Timeout on the ice will do the same. 3.53 to go in the second period, and the Arrows still with that 1 0 lead. 1 0, the Arrows lead it, and the goaltender sparkling in this segment. Great save by Rob Dobson. Using his stick, he gets that big poke check out on Levers, and there's nowhere to go for Levers. And now, then down the other way, we got MacArthur with the save. He eats up the puck. Here he is getting the shot. And he eats it right up, and he was a little slow getting up after that. Well, I think he's still buzzing from that shot that went right off the helmet. Now the pocket center, arrows have it. Balasevic will turn and dump it into the Grizzly zone. MacArthur slows and leaves it in behind as the shot's 20 to 15 in favor of the Grizzlies. Spare Sears in his own end. Reverse the puck to Cup. He smacked it down at center for Balasevic. He's bumped by Vasiliev. Yo trying to bring it ahead. It went into the Utah zone, and Zettler is there. It's the breaks, and it's jammed to the near side for Andre Vasilia. Moved out at center for Kip Miller. Kip Miller, Rod Miller. Boy, now I'm back two years. Now to the far corner. Balasevic rolled it along the boards. And there is Alan May. He cleared to the line. Miller held it in. Bumped by Yo, and we've got a charging penalty coming up. As May gets in there, Jake's in there. Very smart play by Al May to grab Jake's arrows. 
are going to go on the power play. So, and here we go with the big hit. Lapointe is arguing, but he has nothing to really argue about. He's saying, what's going on here? And here's the big hit. And that's a blindside hit on Al May. How good has Al May been tonight? Let's put it this way. Yeah, not much in the offensive department, but he's created so much havoc bumping around with Orjan, bumping around with MacArthur and Claude Lapointe, who's in the box right now. Al May has had a great game getting under guy's skin, and he's making him take penalties. Exactly. Al May's played very well. And then at the end of that play, he grabs Steve Jakes and said, hey, Jakes, let's not get two minutes here. It's very important. It's very important that the arrows go on the power play. So he grabbed them, he showed the leadership. Fourth power play of the night for the arrows. Bowler, Townsend, Freer with Lamb and Straub. Marinucci with Nordberg, Zettler and Deneen defensively. Off the face off, the arrows will set up on the power play. They still lead it one to nothing. Huge power play for the arrows to get that huge momentum going into the third period. Freer. Dropped it for Bowler, and it's jammed back to the line. Straub, he's got Lamb, far side. Back, Straub, winding, shooting, that just missed. Bowler sets up back to the line for Brian Straub. Let's the shot go, he fanned on it, though. Straub again for Lamb to Bowler, and that pass a little too hard for Bowler to handle. The key to watch here is Mark Lamb, how good he is at the half boards. Bowler sends to Lamb, winding, shooting, MacArthur saving, and he'll hold on. Just as you announced, Mark Lamb, who gets the puck with the great shot. Mark Lamb, near the half boards, blasts a shot of Mark MacArthur. He gobbles it up like a big pie. That doesn't work. No, it doesn't. <laughs> and here's the shot. Mark Lamb blasts the puck into the midsection. And all the goalies in the IHL are playing very similar this year, is that they're all getting down low, a la Patrick Waugh, who's uh, one of the best ever. Mark MacArthur from Peterborough, Ontario. Same place as Mark Freer. He's faced 16 shots tonight, stopped 15 of them. And a face off to his right. Top of the puck, arrows have it. Hurlbutt with a minute 18 on the power play. Scoops it over to Lamb, shot deflected wide. Picked up by Bowler, centered it out in front. Townsend turns, can't get the shot away. That was a nifty play by Bowler. Townsend. To Hurlbutt, back to Townsend at the half boards, left side. And Townsend, Hurlbutt, one time shot deflected. Here's Lamb in front. He tried to snap one back. He looked more like a center. Trying to snap the ball back to a quarterback and nearly caught MacArthur. Now the puck picked up by the Grizzlies and they're out at center. Here they come shorthanded. Rogers across the line. Rogers center, the shot deflected by Freer. Sharples, bump by Freer in the corner. Kaminsky's in there and play. Is whistled down. 1.39 to go in the second period. 1-0. The arrows lead it. A reminder to stay with us in the second intermission. We'll have a news update for you. And we will chat with Gord Donnelly, who is uh, sitting out tonight. Gord Donnelly's going to come up. And Mark Freer there, his hustle getting back. It was going to be a two-on-one. Mark Freer gets back and ends up being a three-on-three. Those are the intangibles that win hockey games, those little things. And Dave Tippett talked about it in his interview with Mark Freer and how good that he's really played this year. You know, had the off year last year, but he's now coming into his own, and I think a lot of it has to be attributed to the size he's put on. Well, the size, and we also discussed about his stick. He's changed his blade on his stick. He's got a little fatter blade, and he finds that it, it's helped his velocity. Here's Hurlbutt off the face, off power play, down to half minute. LaRose scooping into the zone. Jammed it down to Shuchuk. Shuchuk to LaRose. Now Shuchuk trying to battle in there with Rod Miller. It's picked up by the Grizzlies. Rogers will clear it out at center ice. Dobson comes out to slow it, and Jakes will play it. Steve Jakes stumbled. He was able to get up and move it to Mike Hurl, but it brings it into the Utah Grizzlies zone. MacArthur played it. Power plays down to three seconds, and that will do it. Back out on the ice, comes Claude LaPointe. Shoot Chuck, chased it down in the far corner. He's got Zettler on his case. Balasevic trying to shake off a check, and now it is Jakes. Motors down the left side, looks in front. Jakes hits the brakes, sends to LaRose behind the net. Here's LaRose, base of the circle, centered. Here's a shot by Balasevic, and it hit a skate of Shoot Chuck. 
trickled down to MacArthur. MacArthur holds on with 41 seconds to go in the second, and the Arrows with a 1-0 lead. Both teams tonight are getting so much traffic in front of the goalies. I don't know how many times we've said about it's off a skate, it's off a post. And shoe chuck there, who's got to see in Al, Al Conroy's absence. And here we're going to see it wheeling out from behind the net. LaRose, and he, he gets it out front. Look at all the feet in front of MacArthur. He's going, let me just pounce on it. Face off in the Grizzly zone to the left of Mark MacArthur. Lamb against Brent Levers. Top of the puck, Levers wins the draw. With five aside. And Vasiliev trying to clear, but it's jumped on by Levers. He'll scan for the center with Vasiliev across the line. Levers moving in, sharp angle shot, and it's wide of the net. Gideen pinching right side, sends it back behind the cage. Arrows looking maybe just to get it out of the zone here and get out with a 1-0 lead if they can. Sharples held, but they're going to call that off sides. And play whistle down. Alame saying, hey, that should be intentional, but Heinzman says no. Jeff Sharples played in the National Hockey League as an 18-year-old and uh, was with the Detroit organization. And when he was involved with the Detroit organization, the Red Wings, he got into the Little Caesar pizza chain and had four Little Caesars pizza in Vancouver. Actually, when I lived in Vancouver, Jeff had one about two blocks away. Yeah, you were never down there, were you? Yeah, that wasn't good news. <laughs> he let you cook them too, which scares me. Here's the puck shot on, but never made it to Thompson. Levers turning now, cuts to the slot. Levers with some room, shoots, and that went just wide of the net. Nine seconds to go in the period. The puck comes to the near side. In behind the net, it's Vasiliev as the net becomes dislodged, and the crowd thought that was kind of hilarious. What does that feel like? I mean, the, the net is heavy, but what does that feel like? With Dobson not expecting it. Oh, you feel like a little caged animal in there. It falls over on top of you. You're going, geez, now I know how my dog feels in his little cage. And look at this. Oh, Bosco? Bosco. <laughs> Bosco three. And there, what happens is, is that the, the net is on pegs. We're going to get a good look here with Brian Straub bumping into the back of the net. And the net just pops up. And that's a safety precaution with the pegs. Back in the old days, they did not have that, Adam. Back with the old arrows, and what would happen, there was tons of knee injuries and major injuries because the nets would not move. And with the new pegs, with technology, uh, have saved a lot of careers. Face off left side of Rob Dobson. Called the point against Mark Freer. Drop of the puck, the point wins it back to the line. The shot blocked, and that's the period. So 40 minutes in the books from the Delta Center, and Dave Tippett, not much of a smile, but inside has to be pleased. He has to be very pleased about the Arrows' effort. The second period has been their nemesis all year. Tonight they played a very so solid team defense in the second period, and Rob Dobson was there for the saves. All right, we've played 40 minutes from the Delta Center. The Arrows lead at 1-0. We'll return to the Delta Center after this timeout and news update. We'll be right back after this.